Just in 2021, the cost of advertising on Facebook went up 197%. The cost of advertising on Google went up 98%. So, what's the difference? Should I be generating attention on Facebook only? Should I be focusing on Google? What should I be doing if I'm trying to generate prospects? This message, this little video right here is for you if you're trying to generate prospects across these platforms. Okay, Manuel the Marketing Ninja here and in this video I want to tell you what is the difference between Google Ads and Facebook ads leads, because you can get leads on both sides, and you can get a ton of them. Facebook has a billion people, more than actually a billion, there are over two billion people using the platform every single day across Facebook and Instagram. Well, YouTube also has billions of people using the platform. YouTube and Google have a lot of people. They've actually been doing it for way longer than Facebook. In all honesty, the, the difference is quite dramatic. I used to call myself, depending on how long you've been watching my content, you might know that I used to call myself the Facebook Ninja. I don't call myself the Facebook Ninja anymore. I just call myself the Ninja. Why? Because things have changed. And in the world of marketing, you gotta understand that platforms evolve and they change. To give you an idea on how much they can change, the cost of advertising on digital platforms has dramatically changed over the last couple of years. Just in 2021, the cost of advertising on Facebook went up 197%. The cost of advertising on Google went up 98%. So, what's the difference? Should I be generating attention on Facebook only? Should I be focusing on Google? What should I be doing if I'm trying to generate prospects? This message, this little video right here is for you if you're trying to generate prospects across these platforms. People to service. Now, in reality, if you're watching the video, you simply need prospects. You just need people, right? Whether you have an e-commerce brand, you need more people to sell your products too. If you have a service, you need more people to sell your services too. If you have a software, you need more people using your software. So we all need identities. The, the size of your business is gonna be directly proportional to the size of your list. That goes without saying, right? So what should we be focused on if we're trying to generate growth for our business? Should I be focused on Google Ads so I can get qualified leads there? Or should I be focused on Facebook Ads so I can get a boatload of people that I can service? Let me tell you the difference between them too. I have a lot of clients that tell me all the time that they don't, not, they're not really sure if they should be going in heavy, heavier on Facebook or should be going in heavier on Google Ads. Because here's the thing, you can generate traffic on both. Let me tell you what the difference is. So as you know, the world of Google is not just Google and the world of Facebook is not just Facebook. Evidence tells you right now that the Facebook world is not called the Facebook world anymore. It's now Meta, right? They changed the company name uh, and now uh, Meta, uh, the, the company Meta is actually, it's not Meta, it's Meta, I believe. Uh, but the company Meta right now, um, we're gonna take this away. They like to call themselves Meta now. That's gonna take a while to get used to it, in all honesty, especially myself being on the Facebook world for so long. That's gonna be difficult, but here's the reality. The Meta world, or Meta, or whatever you wanna call it, it's a lot of different things. It's Facebook is Instagram, it's Messenger, it's WhatsApp, and then they have the other platforms that nobody cares about or very little people care about, like for example, the Oculus and virtual reality platforms, et cetera. I think that they're just basically starting to scratch the surface of the water, right? So that's Meta. Google has YouTube and they have obviously um, all the Google places that you can play around with and things that are the Google world, which is pretty massive. But these two platforms are extremely powerful. Some, a, a lot of people ask me, should I be on one of them only? Should I be on both of them? And the answer is, it really does depend. From my experience over here, okay, if you are a business that is really dedicated uh, to servicing the prospects coming in and you really are dependent on the conversion of that prospect coming in right now to be able to keep your organization growing and, your, and to keep your organization expanding and you don't have a lot of content going, you need to go as deep as possible 
on the Google YouTube world. If you are trying to build a long-term e-commerce brand, for example, something that you can scale and scale and scale, if you're trying to build a service that you want to try to get people longer term to keep on paying you monthly and stay active but you have value, then you want to go heavy on Facebook and Instagram and Messenger and WhatsApp. The reality of the prospect, so what is the difference between Google prospect or lead and Facebook lead. What is the difference? Remember, or meta lead, should I call it meta lead? I don't know, man. It's still a little confusing because Facebook lead can also be an Instagram lead. It could be also be a messenger lead. It could be a WhatsApp lead. All these platforms are owned by meta and they're all very powerful. What's the difference? The difference is quality. It is dramatic, the difference. It is a, it's something that is very difficult to understand how dramatically different these leads can be. Let me explain. It's very simple. Google is the biggest search engine on planet Earth. What is the second biggest search engine on planet Earth? It's called YouTube. They both are owned by the same company, Google. These people that are on Google, on YouTube, they're searching to, to solve a problem. They're trying to resolve a problem that they currently have. For example, if somebody has a plumbing problem, their toilet is clogged, they go to Google and they search for plumbers in the area. If a plumber gets a phone call from that person and they're not able to close them, somebody needs to fire that sales rep because they are actively looking to solve a problem. That person that searched for that plumber on Google is ready for you to jump all in and solve their damn problem. Their toilet is clogged. They might have poop all over the house. Who knows? They're desperate. They need to solve that problem right now. So if you have that situation with that person and that person is not being converted, dude, something is seriously wrong. You got to fix that. You understand the quality? That person right there is a high quality prospect. You got to close right now. Now that same person that has a toilet clogged right now in six months might not have the toilet clogged. And they don't have a problem. They don't have poop uh, uh, spitting all over the, the house. They don't have any of that stuff going on, right? So that could be a Facebook lead. It's not a different person. That's the one thing that I want you guys to understand. These people over here, the Google lead and the Facebook lead, they all leave, live on the same world. The world is called Facebook, Google, TikTok. The world is called the Internet. They're all part of the same world. It's not like Facebook leads are trash. It depends on the moment that you're finding that person. That's the one thing that you got to understand. That uh, Google lead that actually found that plumber is actually also using Facebook every day and Instagram. It is very highly likely that they're also on Facebook and Instagram and Messenger every single day. It depends on the moment that these people found you. And that's what you guys got to understand that if you fix that point, if you actually understand that one point, you're going to understand that a Facebook lead might cost you $1 or $10 a lead. A Google lead might cost you 50 or $75, but this is not apples to apples. This is a very different type of prospect. So the answer to should I focus on Google leads or should I focus on Facebook leads depends on what is your current system right now. If you have four sales rep and you need to keep them busy with people that are qualified, you go all in on Google. If you don't have a follow-up system to send email communications and text messages and tell, and tell stories via other channels, so you can eventually, when that person has a, a, to a toilet that's clogged, they can think about you, you go all in on Google. But if you have content, if you have value, if you have inspiration, if you have education, if you have stories to tell, if you have an email follow-up system, a text messaging system, if you have an e-commerce brand that continues getting these people to purchase from you and continues getting people 
to stay on that journey with you, then you go all in on Facebook. For example, Natural Slim is very deep into Facebook advertising and Instagram because we're an e-commerce brand. So even though they might not want to lose weight right now, I want to put myself in front of them because when they do look themselves in the mirror and say to themselves, I got to do something about this because I'm not happy. What they think about is Natural Slim and Natural Slim has been sending them messages and text messages throughout all this time. So the Facebook traffic is not aware of their problem right now. The Google traffic is aware of the traffic right now. So a $50 lead is way more valuable than a $1 lead. Maybe 50 times more valuable, 100 times more valuable because it can feed your organization now. Facebook feels your organization in the future. Now here's the thing, last thing I'll tell you in this video. If you have a process in place to convert a Facebook lead into a sell, if you have a good sell system in place and your team can manage a big volume of people and you have a great system to get these people to convert in your funnels, in your journey overall, Facebook is going to be a route for you to expand. You want to go and expand in that particular area because that's actually really, really scalable and it's quite powerful and pretty much unlimited. You can open up that faucet and go. You can turn off that faucet and figure out how to get your systems and inventory to be better, all right? So go ahead and work on that particular area right there if you can actually have a model that you can generate a lot of services to your system, to your uh, services, to your products. Right now, go to Facebook. But if you need high quality services, uh, high quality leads to be able to service and close because of your limitation right now, then you want to go to Google. If you don't know where to go, guys, and you need help with marketing and you need to know exactly how to get your Facebook ads going, how to generate prospects on Facebook and Instagram, or how to generate prospects on Google, we're here to help you. So that's the end of that particular video. If you guys got any value right now from this particular video, please go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Also, if you're feeling a little bit confused and lost and you want to get help incorporating all this process into your business right now so you can get unlimited leads via Facebook or unlimited leads via Google at higher cost, of course, like we explained on this video, go ahead and click on that link on, that, on, the, on this description on this video that says agmagencies.com forward slash contact, agmagency.com forward slash contact, and we will reach out to you soon. One of our marketing consultants will be able to give you direction as to how to talk to one of our guys and what the next steps are so I, we can actually get some of your marketing uh, improved along the way. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.